We are not made to survive. We're made to thrive. Human beings, our spirit, our capacity to adapt, our ability to grow, our ability to learn with lightning-like speed, our ability to find a way to serve others, that calling inside of us that we have as a parent or as a friend or someone who truly cares when we put our fear aside because there's something we want to serve greater than ourselves, we all have that ability to find that passion in our life. The Newtonian world is all about the predictable. It's all about predicting the future. But the quantum model of reality is, is about causing an effect. The moment you start feeling abundant and worthy, you are generating wealth. The moment you're empowered and feel it, you're beginning to step towards your success. The moment you start feeling whole, your healing begins. And when you love yourself and you love all of life, you'll create an equal. And now you're causing an effect. And I think that's the, the difference between living as a victim in your world saying, I am this way because of this person or that thing or this experience. They made me think and feel this way. When you switch that around, you become a creator of your world and you start saying, my thinking and my feeling is changing an outcome in my life. And now that's a whole different game and we start believing more that we're creators of reality. A lot of people start out with a new year and, and it becomes a trigger for you know the possibility of a new life. But that disappears after a few disappointments, after coming up with a few New Year's resolutions that within a week or two they've already broken. I'm going to talk to you about just the simple core of what you and I are made for. We are not made to survive. We're not made to manage our pain or get through it. We're made to be creators of our lives. We can create anything, anything we can dream about, we can create. And I know that sounds like positive thinking, you know, just BS. But in your soul, there have been times in your life, I know, when you've had something that you wanted so much. Maybe you wanted something for someone you care about. Maybe you wanted something for yourself. But you became so obsessed with something, achieving it, experiencing it, whether it was a transformation you know, in yourself, a change in your business, you know, making a certain amount of money, getting a job you know, increase at some position increase. Uh, maybe it was doing something for your mom or your dad or your kids. Somewhere in your life, you've gotten obsessed enough to really want to create something that you may not even known how you were going to do it, but you just wanted it, desired it, that you started all of a sudden taking action and you got insights. And before you knew it, what used to be just this impossible dream became a reality. Is it fair to say that at some stage in your life that there are some things today in your life that were once just a dream or a goal, that once seemed difficult or impossible, whether it be the job you have or the relationship you're in and might be taking for granted? Is, it, is there anything in your life today that was once like that? Well, then you and I are creators. And very often when we get overwhelmed by so many things we feel out of control by, we start getting into being managers of our life, managing our pain, managing through the situation. If you're not being defined by a vision of the future, then you're left with the old memories of the past and you will be predictable in your life. And if you wake up in the morning and you're not being defined by a vision of the future, as you see the same people and you go to the same places and you do the exact same thing at the exact same time, it's no longer that your personality is creating your personal reality. Now your personal reality is affecting or creating your personality. Your environment is really controlling how you think and feel unconsciously. Because every person, every thing, every place, every experience has a neurological network in your brain. Every experience that you have with every person produces an emotion. So some people will use their boss to reaffirm their addiction to judgment. They'll use their enemy to reaffirm their addiction to hatred. They'll use their friends to reaffirm their addiction to suffering. So now they need the outer world to feel something. So to change then is to be greater than your environment, to be greater than the conditions in your world. And the environment is that seductive. So then why is meditation the tool? Well. Let's sit down, let's close our eyes. Let's disconnect from your outer environment. So if you're seeing less things, there's less stimulation going to your brain. If you're playing soft music or you have earplugs in, less sensory information coming to your brain. So you're disconnecting from your environment.